guys, Axertech here for another video tutorial for you guys. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use an application called Always on PC, which is basically a combination remote desktop application and a flash player for your iPad. So I'll go ahead and show you guys the application here. If you go to your app store, you'll see that this is the application here. It's called Always on PC, and these are just a few uh, screenshots of the actual application. So I'll go ahead and open up the application here so you can guys see what it can do. So when you guys open up the application for the first time, you can put in a username and password and register, and from there all you have to do is simply click on connect. Now once you've connected to the actual application, you'll see here that I've got a cursor that I can move around with my finger on the screen. Uh, and I've got a variety of different things that come preloaded. I've got my Chrome web browser, I've got a Firefox web browser, spreadsheets, which is basically Excel, presentations, which is actually um, a version of pretty much PowerPoint or Keynote, GNU image manipulation, so just a basic paint program, um, access to your computer, so you can actually view files that are on your computer just as if it was an actual computer here. And of course you've got your word processor which is just like um, open office pretty much. Then you can go down to the bottom corner and they've got a variety of different accessories and all kinds of different things that you can play around with. So this is basically a mini computer that you can use on your iPad at any time simply with an internet connection. Now again the biggest difference between this and a remote desktop application is that with this application if you purchase it you don't actually have to have a computer running in order to use uh, this program. Alright, so if I open up my Firefox browser on this particular application, um, I can actually use it just as if it was a uh, standard desktop Firefox browser. So I can come here and I can click in the top left hand corner that you've got a keyboard. So you can type in something, so we'll go to Google here. And in Google I think I'll go ahead and type in YouTube. You can see that everything I'm doing here I'm using my cursor for, so this is just as if I was using a regular computer with a cursor. And This is the full desktop version of YouTube. You can see that the ad at the very top is supported. That is a flash advertisement. Okay, so just for demonstration purposes here, I've got the actual uh, full version of YouTube open and I've got a video streaming uh, in the web browser. So this is uh, full Firefox and I have a, a YouTube video playing. So I can actually maximize this if I want to. I can go in here and click maximize, uh, or I can leave it running in just uh, windowed mode here. So this runs identically to if I was actually using a full desktop computer to run this application. Now I will admit that running videos in this application is not the quickest. This application is really not meant to run a lot of flash videos. I'm going to be covering an application in the future which is actually specifically for flash video content. This application however really just excels in running general flash content on the internet, particularly flash games, uh, JavaScript content, and basically this is just a great application to be able to access websites that don't work properly on mobile devices. Okay, so I've got a website open here that I'm loading. This is just basically a flash based website. Um, everything on this website is running flash. So if I click start here, uh, you'll see that all the flash content will load uh, just as it's supposed to. So basically this application again is really great for um, just running specific websites that you have trouble running on your mobile browser. So another really cool thing that you can do in Always on PC is that you can uh, modify text as you would on a desktop computer. So if I click on any of the uh, areas where there's actually text, I can bring up my keyboard and you can see all the different icons at the very top here. I've got a keyboard icon uh, and then right next to that I've got this uh, little icon here which will actually bring up a list of commands that you can use to modify things in this application. So with text I can use control and click on uh, C and that's, uh, that's the command to copy text so I can do control C, I can do control uh, X if I want to which will cut the text, control V which I can use to paste all the text, and then I can use control A to select everything if I want to, 
I can also use the delete key here which will delete anything that's in the uh, pane and then if you want you can also use the uh, Microsoft Word program that's built in here so I'll open that up for you if you're using the word processor that comes equipped with this program uh, there's a bunch of uses for that as well I can type in things and use the tab key if I want to use tab and of course as you're scrolling down web pages and things of that nature you can use the arrow keys to move up and down web pages use the left and right keys to uh, go around web pages as well so there's a lot of different things that you can do with the application this application is definitely not built to replace your mobile browser this is a great application to give you a few bits of functionality that you don't have with your iPad out of the box. It allows you to view Flash and Java based web content and allows you to use a word processor, a PowerPoint viewer and creation software and it also gives you the ability to save files directly to the device so if you have files that you need to download you can actually download them straight onto this particular application and as I mentioned before if you go to your desktop when you go to computer you'll notice that you actually have a list of documents so I actually have a version of my documents on here where all of my word files I can save into my documents I can save into uh, you know if I've got music I want to listen to I can save music into my music folder so you can see that you actually browse around this application just as if it was a computer just as if it was Windows and so I can save things to here locally as well and then anytime that I open up the application it'll be saved directly to this device now you can see here it says free space 884 gigs that's not exactly accurate you don't get that much space but I think you have access to probably around 10 gigs of storage capacity on here where you can just store documents and files that you need to um, as you wish so it's a really really great application if you guys have any questions feel free to ask I will be posting another video in the future on how to watch flash video on your iPad um, but that's pretty much all there is to this application it's really really awesome it's basically giving you the ability to have a full desktop computer on your iPad so guys check it out it's called always on PC and it's $24.99 on the App Store rate comment and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video thanks for watching